Hello guys, welcome to you. In this video, we are going to see how to install or set up old HP printer drivers in a Windows 11 PC or laptop. It is a very easy and simple process and I give the multiple methods to install your old HP printer on a Windows 11 PC or laptop. Before go to the, this video, if you not subscribe the channel, then subscribe the channel and also click on the bell icon. So let's go to our first method. Our first method is very easy and simple. Go to start, type printers and scanners. Click on the printers and scanners. In a printers and scanner, here we find add a printer or scanner and click on this add a device. As soon as you click on the add a device, it's a pop-up new box or the new message at this point. Click at your add device, wait for a few seconds and make sure attach your printer to your PC or laptop and make sure it's power on. Make sure your printer is power on and it's attached to your PC or laptop. And after that, here we find new option. The printer that I want isn't listed. Click on add a new device manually. Click on here. Close this. Here we find add a printer. In add a printer, we find many options. Go to this option. My printer is little older. Help me find out. Select this. Click on the next. And if it's fine, Make sure if it's fine, your printer at this point, then select your printer and click on the next, next, next and install that printer. This is our first method. And if this printer is not available, then don't worry. We are going to the, our second method. In my case, this is not showing me a printer. This is our problem. And we are going to the second method now. Close, cancel it. Our second method is also easy and simple. We are going to the start. Type once again, printers and scanners. Click on the printers and scanners. Here we find add a printer or scanner. Click on the add a device. Wait for a few seconds. New option is pop up in a few seconds. Here we find new option. The printer that I want isn't listed. Then click on add a new device manually. Click on add a new device manually. Close this. Here we find new options. Here we find add a printer. In add a printer this time, go to the last option. Add a local printer or network printer with manual settings. Select the last option. Click on the next. Here we find existing port. Existing port is the most IMP part in this installation. Click at here. And if your printer is very old, then go to the LPT1. Or if it's fine, dot four underscore zero zero one HP printer device, HP, HP port, then select that port. Or last option is USB. Select any USB, USB 001, 002, 003, 004. Select any USB port. I give three options. First is the LPT1. Second is the COM4 underscore 001 HP printer, HP, HP printer device. This is our second option. And last option is USB or COM4. I go with the USB. You can select any port. I give the three or four options. Select any port from that and click on the next. Here we find many options. And if you find HP, then select HP. When in manufacturer, find HP, then select HP. And printer list, if you find your printer, then select that printer. If it's not fine, then don't worry. We are going to the Windows update. As soon as we click on the Windows update, it's update our all drivers, printer drivers from the uh, HP or, or the Windows official side. So wait for a few seconds to update our Windows printer. It's only update the printer drivers. Click on the Windows update and wait for a five to 10 minutes or 20 minutes. And after that, we are going to the our process or the our printer installation process. Our printer is now updated. Now in manufacture, select HP. HP is the our manufacturer, select the HP. In a printer list, select the your printer, whatever your printer, select that printer from here. I select the my printer name. I select this printer. This is a very old printer, select that printer. Click on the next. Give any printer name that you want. I give the HP LaserJet 1020. Same printer name. You can give any printer name that you like. Click on the next. Wait for the installation to complete. It's take one or two minutes depending on the your driver side and make sure internet connection is on. Our printer is now installed. If you want to share this printer on the network, then select last option. I don't. So I select do not share this printer. Click on the next. If you want to print a test page, then click on a printed test page or click on a finish. Our printer is properly installed now. And if this method is also not work for you or the Windows update not gives a your printer model number, 
then code the upward third method our third method is also easy and simple code the your web browser code the any web browser that you like and here type the hp then the super model number whatever your model number is type at here example as hp laser jet pro or any other printer inject printer or any printer then type the your printer model number and then type printer driver type the printer driver and hit enter key on your keyboard type your printer printer model number hp then printer model number and printer driver and go to the first first side go to the whatever first site is go to that side here if you find the your printer name and if you want to choose a different os click at here and go to the windows and go to the here windows 11 if windows 11 is available if windows 11 is avail not available or not showing your driver then go to the windows 10 64 bit windows 8.1 64 bit 7 64 bit go to the any 64 bit because windows 11 is always 64 bit in this case i go to the windows 10 64 bit you can go to the any 64 bit link 64 bit links are working 110 percent in windows 11 pc or laptop click here click on the update and it's update your drivers then scroll down and find two things driver product installation software or the basic drivers find the your drivers drivers are more imp then go to the here and download this download this if it's not expand then expand it in this case i find driver product installation software if you find only basic driver then download basic drivers also then click on the download it's download your file on your pc or laptop and it's take one or two minutes or five minutes depending on the uh, our size if size is high if our file size are high then it's take one or two minutes so be a patient and wait for one or two minutes after that our download is completed go to the downloads click on the show in file folder minimize it drag this file to desktop close it next option is install this printer double click on it and install it or if you want to install it manually because manually installation is the best right click on this set of file show more options click on the extract files click on the ok it's extract your files and create a new folder on the desktop wait for a few seconds to extract double click on this folder and here we find many files and this file contain our drivers files also okay and we are going to install that drivers that is very easy and simple go to start type printers and scanners click on the printers and scanners in a printers and scanners here you find add a printer or scanner double click on the add a device wait for a few seconds same thing same process go to the here here we find new option the printer that i want isn't listed click on add a new device manually click at here close this go to the last option add a local printer or network printer with manual settings select that click on the next here select lpt1 or the if you find hp printer device com4 underscore 001 hp printer or com4 hp printer or hp or hp printer device if you find any hp port then select that or go to the usb i go to the usb usb 001 002 003 004 select any usb that you find select usb click on the next here we find have go to the have go to the browse go to the desktop and go to your newly extracted folder double click on it and find this .inf file if .inf file is important select any file it show only a .inf file so go to the any folder and if you find a .inf file then select that file in this case i select this file at run you can select any file that you want click on open click on the ok and if you find single printer then install that single printer if you find series printer then also install that series printer series printer contain many printer drivers and if you find multiple printers then find the your printer name from this drivers and install that printer name in this case hp laser print pro pro means professional p1102 this is my printer select your printer from this all list select your printer click on the next do any printer name that you like i go with the same printer name click on the next it's install your printer it's take one or two minutes so be a patient and wait for one or two minutes to properly install your printer and after that go to the your printer settings 
our printer is now installed go to the, uh, if you want to share this on the network then go to the last option or click on do not share this printer click on the next if you want to print a test page then click on a printer test page or click on the finish next step is if this all three methods are not work for you and your printer is not working then i give the fourth method our fourth method is also easy and very super simple we are going to the once again to the our browser and this go and go to the search in a search type hp universal printer driver hp universal printer driver and hit enter key on your keyboard first link is from the support.hp.com official website of the hp printer open the first link and here we find the our printer driver here we find choose a different os if you want to change it then click it here and select windows 11 or windows 10 64 bit 8.164 bit or 764 bit select any 64 bit link and click on the update after that here we find the our drivers go to the here driver universal printer driver expand this what is this the hp universal printer drivers hp main technology is the hp universal printer driver and 99 percent old printer 99 percent 99 percent 0.99 percent old printers are work with this hp universal printer driver any old printer are working with this hp universal printer drivers and we are going to install it go to the here first download or second download same thing these all printers are the same or the drivers are same click on this download it's redirected to the another page and here we find the download is started and it's complete in few seconds very small size click at here download click on show in folder and drag this setup file to desktop close it here we find our old printer files i delete that and here we find this zip file also and here we find our zip file and we are going to extract this zip file right click on it show more options click on the extract files click on the ok it's extracted and new folder is created double click on it here we find our drivers close it next step is install it go to the start type printers and scanners click on the printers and scanners here we find add a printer or scanner click on add a device wait for a few seconds same options same process wait for a few seconds click on the add a new device manually close it click on add a local printer or network printer with manual settings select that click on the next click on here hp port uh, com4 underscore 001 or hp port hp printer device hp or select usb 001 or lpt1 i go with the usb 001 click on the next click on have a dicks. go to the browse go to the desktop here find the your newly extracted folder double click on this folder here we find some files click on any files all files has the same drivers select on any file i select this file click on open click on the ok here we find two drivers same drivers select any i select first you can select also second click on the next give any printer that you want i give give any printer name that you like and click on the next wait for printer to install properly and after that we are going to the our next method wait for a few seconds to install our printer properly after that if you want to share this printer on network then select share this printer on network or select do not share this printer click on the next printer test page or click on a finish after that we check our printers are installed properly or not go to the chart type printers and scanners click on the printers and scanners here we find our all installed printer scroll down here we find our all printers are properly installed in our pc or laptop and after that if your printer is not working properly or not installed properly then comment me in the comment box and i give the solution to fix that issue i give the drivers or i make a video on that printer to how to install that printer if any old printer has a problem then comment me i give the 110 percent solution for that printer so guys thank you for watching this video don't forget to like share comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe the channel Thank you guys.